Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam free to play review. First thing I want to say is, if you want to see the secret ending that I found while playing this, stick towards, like, it'll be after the score at the end of the video. And I'll include the timestamp in the description. I highly suggest if you don't play this game, at least watch the secret ending. It was really good, super emotional, and one of the reasons that this game scored what it did. When it first, when I first started playing this game, I thought it was like a 5 out of 10 kind of thing. Because it seemed very average. Like it just really seemed like a side scroller, 2D platformer shooter, which it kind of was. But they do a lot of things really well that I'll try to get into and explain best I can. So first off, you start with this basic weapon that has unlimited ammo, which is really nice. It's, at least you're not able to run completely out of ammo. But as you play, you'll notice that the guns you get, <laughs> they run out of ammo very qu quickly. And this is another thing they do super good in this game. All the weapons seem really fun to play. I really enjoy all the different weapons. They play extremely different, and they all feel pretty strong in their own regard. And if you watch these enemies, I really wish I had live audio for this, but I too much cussing and whatnot. Because if you look at the relative like spacing between me and these dinosaurs at some point, it made me clinch so hard. <laughs> I was so stressed out while playing this at certain points. And it, oh, you die in one hit. That's so annoying. It's, it keeps the game challenging and fun. And it's one of the things that makes you clinch so hard while you're playing it. Because you'll do something amazing. Like you'll have this sick jump juke and you're like, oh yeah, I got this. And then you'll jump it. And then something will come and one shot you from like off the screen. And you're just like, why? <laughs> So I got super lucky while playing this game. When I did my high score run, that unlocked the secret ending because to get the secret ending, you have to get a certain score. I'm pretty positive. And what happened was the t another thing they do well. They have mini bosses. This was another thing that I really enjoyed about this game that brought it up for me is that it starts spawning mini bosses when you get to like 30,000, 40,000 points. And it's just basically bigger, stronger versions of the monsters that you've already seen. And they get cooler mechanics too. But the Triceratops, you cannot kill that thing unless you have the very sp the best weapon in the game. And I'm going to tell you about it when I get to it. I want to let you see it and then explain why this is my favorite weapon in the game. Even though I love them all, like most of them are really good. My least favorite is that orange one that seems really strong with like the where it blows up and hits everything around you. The one reason that's my fa least favorite is because it doesn't kill the pterodactyls too good. It does like really little damage against them. But as I was saying, once this guy spawned, I took off to the left. And once, whenever he spawned for whatever reason, he, uh, the creatures, all the big bosses stopped spawning to the right. And I just basically kept going to the left and killing anything that got in my way. That's how I achieved my high score. Because I played this game a lot and struggled because I... What happened was, I was playing it and I was like, oh, I don't think this has an ending. So I was like, I'll keep playing it until I get to 100,000 points. And then I found out this neat trick so I could keep going and going and going. <laughs> but uh, at, it, at certain points it will spawn to the left when I first started this part. But once I killed that, it seemed like they stopped spawning to the left. So you'll have to test to figure out why exactly it did that if you're going to try to do the same thing. Also, I'm not going to try to spoil you by like telling you what happened. If, the reason I put the ending at the end is because I don't want to spoil it for you if you want to play the game and figure it out for yourself. It'll be at the after the score, and I'll make sure I include the timestamp, like I said. This laser gun's so cool, too. <laughs> it's not too great because it doesn't do as much damage point and blank, like the pistol or something else. But all these weapons have a use. It's so good. Oh, that two times multiplier will kill you so bad. <laughs> It'll bait you into the worst circumstances ever. Oh gosh, it's so annoying. Oh man, I had so many runs where I was getting so close to 100,000 when I was doing it like the right way, I would guess. Okay, this is the best weapon in the game. Alright, I'm ready. So, this thing insta kills anything. And how it works is it's like the number four bullet. Outlaw Star. It's like almost identical how it works. It summons a black hole and sucks anything up into it. So if you've seen Black Hole so, uh, Outlaw Star and you got to see Gene use that weapon, that's almost exactly the same thing, which is awesome. Oh yeah, I haven't even mentioned. 
when you play this game, you play as a lowly anime girl, so if that bothers you, that's just the character design, you'll have to get over it if you want to play the game. But I think it adds so much more depth to the ending. The ending was so well done, it was so emotional, like you don't get any story before you start playing this game, but the ending wrapped up everything, like it gave you the beginning, the middle, and the end of like these characters, I felt. It really created a whole story for me through the ending. Uh, this is kind of my bias on it. I really like stories and games. I feel like you should at least include a little bit of a story in your game. Granted, I know it doesn't have to have story to be a great game, but I feel like it's just a little extra thing that feels, it goes a long way. So I wanted to talk a little bit about things that would improve my experience in the game as well, before I get to the score. I feel like it would have been really cool if they had like, some way that you could spend your points or some way you could like purchase things in the game. I know you get random jobs, but I always feel like it's super rewarding where you can like because you survive so long you can buy things and like even if it's just a level up system or anything, anything that you can really unlock. You do got one unlockable weapon which I will show before I get to the score when you get the ending. But I've I just feel like that would be something that could add a little bit extra to the game. Also, another thing would be like waves would be nice because it kind of gets a little bit overwhelming. I, it's not that big of a deal because it actually has an ending, which was awesome. Like I said, that's so good. But it, it's kind of nice when they split things into waves because it feels kind of RNG if like for what weapons drop and what creatures spawn because sometimes you're just going to get really bad luck and just get smacked on unless you get this kind of lucky thing like I got. Because I, I would have got to 100,000 eventually, but I would have not got anywhere near 200,000. And I'm not exer sure exactly what the threshold it is for like the ending. So this is the secret weapon in the game. As you can tell, it has its own little cutscene animation when you use it. One thing I would say, one of the big problems I have with the gameplay in this game is the mouse, the having to drag your mouse to change weapons. That is so bad. It does not work good. It probably would have been a lot better if I used a controller for this game. And this has local co-op, I didn't say that. That was, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was so annoying trying to switch weapons. Oh man, it was a struggle. That was probably one of the bigger parts of the game that I didn't really like for the gameplay. This game gets a 7 out of 10 though. Really, I thought about giving it a 5 out of 10, but they really surprised me. So please like and subscribe if you could. And thanks for watching as always. Bye!